having heavily upgraded a speedy slash 4x4 and enjoying tinkering with the almighty x max i've been itching to break into the crawling scene and i've finally taken the plunge with the Traxxas trx4 The TRX4 has been around for a while now and even though it's the first crawler for Traxxas, they seem to have pulled off a rather impressive truck here with some unique features. The vehicle comes with a well detailed and fully licensed Land Rover body, loads of scale detailing, a two speed transmitter, remote locking differentials and it even comes with cruise control. Available in kit form 2 for those who want to build their own truck from scratch, this ready to run unit comes complete with everything you need, including some tools and of course the instructional guide. You will need to provide your own battery mind, both 2S and 3S being supported as well as AA batteries for the transmitter, but otherwise everything else is included. So talking of the transmitter, let's start here. If you've used Trax's vehicles in the past then you'll be right at home here with an all familiar design. Space in the base for the four AA batteries that run the unit along with a power switch just above. Further up we have an ergonomically comfortable hand grip along with the throttle and brake trigger and the foam lined wheel used to steer the vehicle. Above these are the usual trim and multifunctional knobs and the menu buttons at the very top so nothing new here. Although the set button also doubles up as a cruise control button, perfect for longer trail driving. The main differences for this particular model are the rather obvious red rocker switch, allowing users to switch between the two different transmission modes the vehicle comes with for high or low gear, and a three way switch at the very top of the device which does look like a bit of a tacked on afterthought mind, although this controls the various differential modes, otherwise it's a comfortable transmitter that provides all the basic functionality you need to run the vehicle. And with that said, let's move our attention across to the vehicle itself with its immensely detailed bodywork. After successfully integrating a no body clip system on the x max I expected none on the TRX4, but here we're back to the normal body clips, which is probably a good thing on this style of truck. Nevertheless, as an officially licensed Land Rover product, the body has a great balanced detail, faithfully capturing the iconic shape. We have thick plastic used for the exterior roll cage while the body itself obviously comes pre-painted and stickered with the defender lettering on the front hood having a true 3D effect. We have some detailed headlights with a lighting kit being available too which we'll take a closer look at in a future video, rugged arch extensions and wing mirrors made of the same thick plastic as the roll cage, even smaller details down to door handles are all present. Around the back we have a fuel tank and jack mounted on either side of the spare wheel, both just being for show obviously although the spare wheel itself is actually fully functional and can be fitted to the chassis should the need ever arise. Taking a look under the body, the chassis has thick moulded plastic bumpers and hard plastic rock sliders for rock riding. The body itself also has arch liners to protect the chassis from the elements. This all adds some sprung weight to the overall vehicle though and can work against you, although we'll see how this fares later. Notice the two pins on the rear of the body, these line up with the two post locators in the rear bumper lining the rest of the body up nicely on the two posts up front and the two higher posts at the rear all working to secure the body to the vehicle, minimising any movement or rattle and keeping everything together and secure. So moving on to the vehicle itself, what we have at its core is a ladder chassis creating from 1.5mm thick steel which runs from the front through to the rear of the vehicle. This makes the frame rigid and damage resistant, crucial features when you're driving the truck over the rough terrain of the trail. Aside from function and durability, the frame on the Traxxas TRX4 is also mostly adjustable. Four wheelbase positions may be selected allowing you to tailor the setup to your trailblazing needs. The positioning of the rear shock towers, bumpers and rock rails can also be altered. The body and the frame function as a single piece when put together and work in tandem really well. The 1.9 inch wheels not only look the part but come fitted with S1 compound Canyon Trail tyres. These have deep tread blocks for gripping rocks and are fitted with foam inserts to flex and behave like the real thing. Since the chassis has a standard 12mm steel hex mount for the wheels, you can easily swap them out for your favourite crawling combination if need be, but while they may not be the best, they carry the truck's weight well, while being very soft and sticky. 
This means on rocks they give the truck above average grip, while on soft surfaces like sand or topsoil, their deep lugs are equally impressive at finding traction. The tread design also extends partially over to the side wall, helping to give the truck extra grip when hardcore crawling. The wheels connect to the truck with some fancy portal axles which do a great job in raising the body further and providing 80mm of ground clearance. This enables it to climb over big rocks and deal with shallow water with ease by allowing the truck to ride higher without increasing the size of the wheels or tyres. This chassis design also boosts an exclusive set of custom aluminum GTX shocks. These are oil-filled coilover shocks with silver anodized aluminum bodies and are sprung and damped well. They can be adjusted easily and the spring collar on the shocks can also be adjusted for setting ride height. Sticking with the suspension, the front end of this vehicle has a three-link suspension setup. Paired with a triangulated four-link suspension in the rear of the vehicle, as well as the steel ball rod ends, these are hardy and all work together really well. The suspension, wheels and tyres have clearly been designed with aggressive off-roading in mind, and when it comes to steering control, this is handled by a large waterproof metal gear servo. This connects to the hubs via high mounted steering arm linkages to maximise ground clearance. With the front diff unlocked, the system allows for an impressive 45 degrees of steering angle. Even so, the stock servo is on the slow side and while it has some torque, it isn't powerful enough for the application when rock crawling. So it's certainly a good point for upgrade, which we'll be doing in a follow-up video. Before we look at the electronics up top, we do need to mention the drivetrain on this RC truck because it is a work of art. It has a full-time shaft-driven four-wheel drive setup. The cherry on top is the remote act activated cable actuating locking differentials on the front and back axles. Some of the engineering feats accomplished here are what makes the TRX4 so revolutionary. For example, the remote activated locking differentials are crucial for efficient trail runs by skilled RC drivers. Another important feature is the hardened steel U-joints attaching to the front and rear drive shafts. By their very nature, they are unlikely to break in their lifetime. These joints are also precisely engineered to ensure smooth, reliable power delivery from the motor to the wheels. So, talking of power, this is delivered by a hardy Titan 21T reverse rotation motor which is front mounted to assist the weight balance. Although brushed, this type of motor boasts an internal cooling fan as well as a precision engineered preset gear mesh. In addition, the motor retention brace is a separate piece, minimizing the risk of impact damage to the gears. This is fed by the XL5 HV electronic speed control featuring a state-of-the-art waterproof design. It has five different modes of operation, each of which impact the power provided to the wheels and brakes. Plus, heat will not be a problem with the large, efficient heatsink. It all protects itself from overloads and short circuits with the included two-stage low voltage protection. Of course, for a motor, transmission and speed control to function, they require power. The battery compartment on this RC vehicle consists of a hinged strap that allows easy access to the battery. There are no small parts involved, so you won't need to worry about losing anything. There's plenty of space as well as it can accommodate many different heights and it will even accept full-size battery packs. However, it can also accept smaller batteries for shorter trail runs for those who consider keeping small batteries around as a backup in your trail bag. Nevertheless, next to the speed control we have the transmission shifting servo, activated with the red switch on the transmitter, toggling between the high or low speed which comes in use on the trail when conditions are ever changing. Traditionally crawlers can be quite dull when it comes to flat terrain, geared for climbing control rather than out and out pace, so it's nice to be able to shift to a higher speed during flatter terrain. Otherwise, on the opposite side, balancing the unit out a little, we have the main receiver located within its waterproof receiver box with a cable clamp to one side. This is the standard 2.4 GHz 5 channel micro receiver with telemetry via sensors that we'll add as we upgrade the truck. Just above the receiver box, we find another two T lock servos, locking and unlocking the front and rear differentials via the attached T lock cables, like a bike braking system, in other words. These are activated with the top switch on the transmitter, unlocking both for better steering response and causing less strain on the drive components, while locking one or both differentials for enhanced climbing ability and better traction. With rock sliders on both sides of the vehicle, all electronic cables are neatly run with no fear of anything catching, especially once those body wheel wells are in place. 
from an initial look at the TRX4, it's clear to see what we have here is an incredibly versatile vehicle, with fantastic looks and detail, and it seems a solid rig with no glaring errors. It's obvious the Traxxas crew took their time to produce a vehicle that was not only done correctly, but also one that would be a pleasure to drive and own. In addition, the modification scene for the truck has exploded, with people swapping out tyres, bumpers and adding winches or new bodies. Before I even begin running this vehicle though, there are a couple of upgrades I want to bolt onto the truck, so join me in the next video as we start tinkering with the TRX4, pulling it to pieces, and start bolting on some additional upgrades.